All right, welcome back everyone. In this video, we're looking at a different setup for the pose copier. So um, previously we looked at the head and how to set it up using uh, the rotation. We had the tilt and the lip sync. And this one right here, let me just show you guys what I did. I won't uh, go into as much details now that we know the main uh, principle behind the setup, but let's look at what it gives us on the post copier itself right here. So um, I have the first horizontal slider, which is used for the rotation, but this time it is the rotation of the body. So as you can see, we go 10 different positions. So we have back, quarter back, side, quarter front, and front. And I have the same thing over flipped to the other side. So the first version here over on the left side is flipped and the rest of the poses are the regular ones. Now, I also have the slider at the bottom, which is for the head position. So I have in this one here, all the head positions. So be it front, quarter front, side, quarter back or back. All of these can be accessible through here. So if I wanted to access a certain body type along with, let's say the side head, I can simply use both of those sliders to do so. And the vertical slider has been associated with the head tilt, same as with the other one that we had done. So now I can tilt the head up or down depending on what I want. So I won't be able to access the uh, lip sync inside of this one. You could still kind of use a mix and match of both templates that you've used so far. If you wanted to load up a different one, you could simply select the other template that we had created and load it using this button right here. So from this one, you'd be able to apply the necessary changes to the head depending on which one you wanted to use. Now, as for uh, the setup of this particular scene right here, Again, I created another scene specifically for that pose copier setup. So this one is the body and I did a save as in order to get a brand new scene without removing all the information that I had from before. So going back into the node view, I've created my different nodes. We have the horizontal slider number one horizontal slider number two, which was SLX dash and SLV dash, which is the vertical um, representing the head tilt right here. So again, if I want to see the setup directly inside of my scene, I need to go and display all since these nodes are not connected to anything at the present time. So I'm going to go display all and I already have my setup over here. Um, so basically the same thing that I showed you uh, within the slider. So we have the back view flipped, quarter back, side, quarter front and front, and then going down into the uh, SLX slider, we have head back, head quarter back, head side, head quarter front, and head front. And I have that repeated over to every single angle within the head. Um, so from there, I have the head tilt. So basically each one is split into three, down, mid, and up. So I have one, which is the down tilt, if we remember correctly, uh, the vertical slider, has the um, the first the numerical order and alphabetical order starting from the bottom all the way up. So one down tilt, two middle, and three up tilt repeated over into every single one that we have here, enabling us to have all the head positions and being able to pose all of these within the same pose copier template. So for these, I'm going to have to put those inside the group directly. So I'm cutting them, going into 
my character this time. I don't need to go inside the head directly since some of these are affecting the body. And I'm going to go close to my multi-port out, paste those in. And again, so long as they're inside the group here, I don't really need uh, to hook them up to anything. I'm gonna go back on top, select my group and my peg, copy that, and go over into my library to go and paste those in here. Now, I already have the template set up over here so that you guys could see it. I, of course, made the thumbnails for each of those images. There are significantly less frames inside of this example as there was inside the other one because lip sync tends to take up quite a bit of space especially when you have so many head angles. So with this one here, we're only allowing people to have access to the body and head angles, not necessarily the lip sync. You can complete again using the other one. So that's how you would use uh, both in combo, having the full body, the head, you would pose your character using both of these here. So I hope you guys had fun using these templates here. If you don't have them, make sure to download them from the modules. Uh, you have a little button called download materials. Make sure you get those and play around with them. Try setting it up for yourself. And thank you guys for watching.